So again, you know, this is the secure way of uh, attaching it. Now, to cut the tape, you have to use a key. The key to cutting the tape is the key. Here it is, the key. Any key. There. Now, Wow! C'est bien ça! Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> oui! Bien! Attention ok! Tu <laughs> vois, j'ai mis trois sur le poteau au coin. Après, après. Maintenant, celui-là. Ouais. In our name, Palestinian Lives Matter too. Thank you. There. Now. J'espère. Je voudrais que la sécurité va venir pour enlever les affiches. Je veux qu'il vienne, mais il ne peut pas. Ce n'est pas légal. C'est Madame Russe qui m'a pris un pamphlet. Ah. Et Madame Russe qui a pris mon pamphlet et a dit « He's strong <rire> ». Mais elle ne pouvait pas parce que ça m'en allait voir sa mère. Nice. Allô, ça va bien? Not in our name. Palestinian lives matter too, you know. This is the Jewish Community Campus Center, uh -huh. and this is the the lamppost where they had put up a sign, you know, for this Israel Day Parade, you know, okay. and the 75th anniversary and all that, a very colorful sign. So I went over to the sign and I wrote, and a free Palestine, and then they had me arrested and charged with criminal mischief. So I'm putting up, you know, these art, art posters, you know, little uh -huh. posters here, Jewish posters, mm -hmm. denouncing the genocide, and then if they come and take it down, then they're doing something which is illegal because, you yes, know, because it doesn't belong to them, you know, and this is the public domain, you know, so mm -hmm. let's well, see. When was the, 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 the problem that, that day? Ah, I first put up, uh, first wrote and the free Palestine on April the 18th. Ah, okay, okay, but no, I mean, when did you have issues with the, the people here? Not in our name, Palestinian lives matter too, ma'am. Issues with? Because you you had uh, just did, did uh, write something like uh, what what was it? And a free Palestine. And a free Palestine. Okay, yeah. So, so it was saying you know and means you know and you know Palestine and Israel you know like it wasn't even anti-Israel it's just very you know like mild you know. Okay, where was it the, the sign? Was right it here, here, right on this post here. Yeah. Okay, but this is public. Right? Yeah, but they still say that it's their property. Okay. But it's not. You know, they're lying. Well, it says Montreal Jewish Community. Oh, well, that's a sign, uh, yeah. But it, you know, there's other signs too, you know, no parking, you know, and stuff like that. Okay. 
So that's, you know, what it belongs to is it belongs to the city. Okay. But the city put up those signs for the Jewish community campus, but it doesn't belong to the Jewish community campus. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, what you would like to say to people uh, looking at... That the way to stop yeah. this genocide in, in, in Gaza, you know, uh, obviously, you know, Israel isn't paying attention, you know, to any protests. You know, they don't care. You know, a million people, they don't care, you know. Mm -hmm. The United States, uh, you know, they don't seem to care either, you know, because, uh, you know, the... You're talking about the state, not the, the American people, because the American people are protesting. Yeah, there's uh, more who are opposed to the war in Gaza than are in favor of it now. Yeah, but, uh, so, uh, ahead, the only way to deal with the genocide that is happening now, the only way to stop it, is from inside the Jewish people now. And when the Jewish people protest, and when the Jewish people revolt against the government of Israel, and tell them, stop, because you say you're acting in our name, then you have to stop, because we, the Jewish people, are telling you to stop. And if you want to continue to say that you're acting in behalf of the Jewish people, then you have to listen to the Jewish people. And here they don't listen, you know, because here the Jewish people in Montreal, we don't have a vote. You know, we don't have a vote for the Israeli elections. And they tell us what to do. You know, that's called a dictatorship. That is not okay. That's a dictatorship. Yeah. And we do not accept that. We in the Jewish Bund are saying since 1897 that the Zionists are, are petty bourgeois good for nothings, you know. They don't know how, they don't want to even fight fascism. They joined with fascism to get, you know, their own party members out of Germany and Hungary. They couldn't care less about the rest of the Jewish community because we were all working class socialists. But uh, the Canada uh, voted for uh, the ceasefire not so long ago. Yes, because of the, our demonstrations, the big demonstrations that happened in Ottawa, Montreal, Vancouver, everywhere, all over the country, forced the Canadian government, plus the NDP opposition, which is calling for a ceasefire, mm -hmm. forced the government, you know, the Liberal Party, to come out in favor of a ceasefire at the United Nations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here, uh, the Israeli flag, eh? Yeah. yeah how, how, how come? Because this is the can Canadian soil. Yes, we because this Montreal. is because the, the community, the Jewish community of Montreal, is controlled by the Zionist agents of the of the Zionist political parties. They have infiltrated all the Jewish organizations, and they even shut down the Canadian Jewish Congress because it's a democratic organization, and we are going there to speak, you know, on behalf of the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. Mm -hmm. And they shut down the Canadian Jewish Congress. When was that? Long time now, long time, yeah. That was, was at a years? conference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. When was that? Wow. But wow. it's anti democratic because it's yes. supposed to be for the people. Yeah, anti democratic, anti Jewish, Jewish you know, like they yeah. don't care, you know. Okay. You know, at the, at the last uh, plenary of the Canadian Jewish Congress, uh, Bernie, Bernie Farber, yeah, was the Zionist. And he, you know, uh, shut down the, the, the whole, uh, you know, they closed the uh, plenary meeting. They locked the doors mm -hmm. so nobody can go in or out, you know, so nobody can come in, you know, to vote. Except that he got his own people, some Mizrahi, you know, uh, Jewish, you know, Francophone, you know, Arabs, to come and vote for his motion to shut down the Canadian Jewish Congress. And so they, four, 14 of them came in, you know, and they sat down and all of a sudden just to vote because they didn't have enough votes, you know, because mm -hmm. the other members of the Canadian Jewish Congress were voting against shutting down the Canadian Jewish Congress, of course. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and then when I tried to protest and speak, sorry. they wouldn't let me speak. And they even threatened to, you know, like, physically, I don't know what, but the doors were supposed to be locked, you know, so they couldn't have thrown me out. You know, so mm -hmm. it was a very sort of tense plenary of the Canadian Jewish Congress that showed the battle between the Zionists and the Bundes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but the camera stopped. But you said you had. I have the, the video. That's good. That's good. That's, yeah. I, I think I have. A, how, I, how many minutes? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna put this up.